So today we will build a scene setup in VC Virac inspired by the PWM Malevolent Synthesizer. This is the final result with the different controls and patch bay. It will sound like this. <laughs> Let's start with the oscillators. We have two oscillators, VC01, VC02. Each has a saw, triangle, and pulse output, and also a combined output, right? We can choose which waves uh, to combine and um, together from this output. We also have wave shaping. We have two FM inputs. This is the same on uh, both uh, VCOs, right? So in VCV, I'm going to use two VCO labs from Venom. We have the individual outputs we can use, right? Triangle, square, and so. We have for each of them also wave shaping, and we have two FM inputs. Now on the synth, we also have a mixer, um, right, where we can mix the oscillators together with noise and an auxiliary or external input. So in VCV rack, I will use the Venom mixer. This is the VCA Mix 4. By default, the combined outputs will go to the mixer, right? So we have one and two. And this synth is quite gnarly and saturated. So if I right click the mix mode here on the VCO, I can choose also to saturate the sum. So this is exactly what I will do on both of them. Now we also need noise and I will take this a step further and use the Squinky Labs colors module. With this module, we can actually morph between different colors of noise. So this is a bit more interesting. So again, this will go to the mixer. And to make this even more crunchy, I will activate saturation also on the mixer itself. You can see we have here mix clipping. If I right click it, we have here soft oversample post level saturation. Now this is all going to a filter. By default, we get a low pass filter, but we have also bend pass and high pass. And also this filter is quite crunchy. So in VCV rack, I will use the filter from Surge XT. For now, I will set up just the low pass and we will go with low pass, the K35. This should be a nice filter for this setup. So let's really listen just with the drone. So the mix will go to the filter, the filter will go to the output. Right, for now we have just the noise. Let me take it down for a second. On the VCO labs, I will turn on the mixer all the way. And let's have here, for example, triangle and so. Maybe an octave down. And here let's have a square. Maybe two octaves down. Right, maybe detune them a bit. Right, so now already we have this. We can add some noise. different color, add resonance. Also here on the filter, we have saturation, so you can choose if you want to use saturation. Let's go, for example, with moderate. But it's quite crunchy. And again, we have wave shaping. Now again, on the synth, we have also two envelopes, two ADSR envelopes. They control various parameters by default. So envelope one will control the FM of the VCOs, also of the filter FM1, you see envelope one, and envelope two will control the level. You see AM1 is routed with envelope Two. And this is the VCA that we have actually with two inputs. So we have once the envelope and once another input that the um, LFO, the triangle wave from the LFO is right routed to. And this has also another drive control. So in VCV rack, I will use two ADSR envelopes from VCV. And instead of using an additional VCA, I will use the controls on the filter, right? So I can use the gain for the amplitude. And also here we have drive control. So envelope one will control the cutoff of the filter. It will also control the FM of the oscillator. So I hold control and shift and I can take another cable. This will go to the exponential FM of the VCOs. And envelope two will control the gain of the filter. So I take the gain all the way down. 
and then I bring it up. And now if I connect this, right, we have also amplitude control. Let's also add the LFO, which is here, right? We have a triangle and square outputs. And again, the triangle is connected by default to the uh, VCOs, to the FM of the VCOs, also to the shape. And again, as we've seen before, also to the AM2 input to the second amplitude input. So in VCV, I will use the VCV LFO, right? Also here we have a triangle and square and the triangle will go and will control the shape of the um, VCOs, right? All three of them also to the FM right to the second FM input and also to the filter. Now I know that the second input here on the VCOs is linear, but if I right click the input here, I can enable DC coupled, which means that it will work also with LFOs. And I will use my MIDI keyboard to control everything. Right, so we have the pitch to go um, to both VCOs and we have the gates or the gate output to gate both envelopes. Right, and now I can play this. We take this back. Maybe this one will be octave up. And drive. Right, quite gnarly. And again, you can change the saturation. If I have no saturation, something like this and again we can add shaping Now on the original synthesizer, we also have an arpeggiator and also a joystick. Now I chose not to add them since we have many um, choices in VCV for sequencing. You can use your favorite sequencer or arpeggiator and it doesn't really make sense to add a joystick like module. Since there's still a need to use the mouse, it's not the most fun experience. So if you have a MIDI joystick or controller, you can use it. Um, but let me now show you the final setup with the patch bay and interface. So this is the final result. You can see here we have uh, the brain or the guts of the synth. And here we have the interface and patch bay. Um, here down I added for now just a delay and reverb. Um, it's not a part of the final result. Just later on I will bring them in. For now they are out just so we can listen to this. You can see here we have where the audio will come out of, right? It shows you exactly if you load this uh, patch or preset uh, selection file, um, you know where to take the audio from. And I uh, used also the glue module from Sturmeller just so I'm not confused what is envelope one, what is envelope two, and which one is VCO1 and VCO2. So I get these, um, these labels, if you will. Right, but this is again the same setup. We have the LFO, two VCOs, the colors, the VCA. In this case, I added also the, um, the other filters. So we have the low pass, high pass, and band pass. Unfortunately for the band pass, there is no decay 35, but this band pass also works quite nicely. Right, and the different modules here from the patch bay that I will show you in a second. Right, this is the interface. Um, everything is here on the interface, um, even the noise color that I added. This is not on the original synth, but um, it makes sense. It's fun to experiment with other, with other colors. And the patch bay, we have outputs and we have inputs. Um, you don't have to connect anything or disconnect anything from the synth. Um, connecting anything for, from the, um, um, to the inputs here will break the internal connections. So if you want to go and modulate the shape with noise, for example, you don't have to go to the synth and disconnect the shape modulation. By connecting something to the shape input, it will break the internal connection. This is the nice thing about the patch bay modules from Venom. We have the, the bay normal, 
that will break normal connections. There is just one thing you have to do, and I will show you this in a second, and it's written also here um, about the low pass. If you don't want to use the low pass, if you want band pass or high pass, just take an empty cable and connect it to the low pass here. Um, there is also a quick start guide. So let's work with a quick start, quick start guide. I have again my uh, keyboard connected. So let's see, raise the levels of the VCOs, right? Let's go something like this, right? In this case, I have faders just because it's uh, more convenient than a knob. Raise the output level, right? Which is here. Then let's see, activate the waveforms, right? So you can choose which waveforms you want to combine. Let's go here with a saw and triangle. Let's go here with triangle and pulse, right? This will just turn them on and off. There is no mixer actually on the synthesizer. You just combine things. Then set the envelopes. We will do this in a second. Use a MIDI controller or a sequencer. I have mine already connected. It's by default connected. If you want to connect a sequencer or anything, you just connect it here. You don't have to look at the synth. Um, this will break the internal connections from the MIDI controller, so you can just connect things here on the patch bay, and then play with the filter. So now if I play, if I zoom in here, right, if I play with my, with my keyboard, right, you can see that we have sound, play with the filter, I can change the envelopes, let's add FM1. Now here on the um, patch bay, I have also the internal connections. So you can see um, FM1, by default, it will be envelope one. Right, so envelope one. Right, we can have, uh, have also shape modulation. Again, by default, it's the LFO triangle. Right, and I have the LFO here. Take the octave up and down. Right, something like this. And resonance, add noise. Right, and let's say that I want noise to control, uh, instead of the LFO triangle, I want to use noise. So I can just go and look for the noise output and connect it to the FM2 of the filter, VCF FM2. Let me make this green, right, and now I can add noise modulation. I can change this from a triangle to a saw. Right, also here we have the FM, so we see FM uh, envelope one. Right, and again, you can just do everything from the module itself, from the module, from the interface. Again, just for this example, I have here also a delay and reverb. So I'm just going to add a bit, right? Just so you can hear this also in context, right? Let me show you this here. Right, and that was it. There's a link in the description where you can download this patch and also the selection file, so you can load the selection file 
um, directly into your patches and use this again you can just take all of this and just stick it somewhere else you don't even have to uh, have to look at it um, right you can just concentrate on the interface and patch bay and um, but that was it for today thank you again so so much for watching cheers